Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking me how I made my own Warhammer Quest tiles. Um, so if you want to take a look here, this one is the original Warhammer Quest one. The, this is my tile. Um, as you can see, it kind of has a more matte finish, but you can always make it a gloss finish. Here's another example, Warhammer Quest one, my one. It's very easy, I'll show you quickly how to do it. First thing you're gonna need is the actual PDF of the tile. So this one, um, I printed wrong, so you can see there's a little thing cut off. It's fine, we're gonna use it as an example. Um, I went to a FedEx print shop and I got this on what I believe they called a 100 pound matte paper. Um, it's a little bit thicker, it's kind of like an index card, and this has a matte finish. You can get it in a gloss finish, which is more akin to the original Warhammer Quest tile here. I just like the matte stuff, I think it looks better in the end. So first thing you're gonna need is the actual files, which I'm sure you can find online, and then get it printed out, nice color, 100 pound matte paper. It's not very expensive, I think it's like a dollar a sheet. So next, what you're gonna need is some artist board. Now this is kind of a hard board, and it's very similar to what they put the Warhammer Quest stuff on. Um, in thickness, I, if I had to guess, it's about two millimeters, but what I did is I just checked to see if it fit in the gate or whatever, and it's a nice smooth fit, and when you put the design on top, and then it's gonna be perfect. Um, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is called uh, Artboard. This sheet is about 550. Um, but yeah, as you can see, nice hard board. So we're gonna need some of that. And then also gonna need some spray adhesive. That's gonna come in handy. You're also gonna need some sandpaper and an optional brown sharpie. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna cut this guy off. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this guy out. It's okay, you can cut out a little bit of the design, at least I did on my other ones. Oh, almost messed it up. Well, this one's already messed up. Anyway, so. Oop, I didn't cut that through all the way, but it's fine because I'm going to show you some guys some tricks afterward to make it nice and pretty. So here is the actual board. Now what we're going to do... Let me clean this up a little bit. I'm going to take our artboard. And we're gonna roughly place this on here and we're gonna get a cut out of it. So this stuff's pretty thick, so I would recommend not using an X-Acto. Definitely use a box cutter for this. So as you can see, I have some slack on the other sides because we're gonna have to clean that up afterward. Okay, great. So we cut out our wood board, got the design. So now we're going to go outside and we're gonna spray a piece of this. Grab the side of your board. There we go. Give it a good soak. Perfect. Now we're just gonna lay that design on there. You can see with the slack, it's very easy. So now you really want to keep this pressed down and make sure it adheres. That'll stop it from coming up later. Great. We're going to give this about 30 minutes to dry. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. This thing is nice and adhered. So now we're going to trim off these sides. Uh, I replaced the knife on my box cutter, so it should go a lot easier. So you can... Try and guide it along the design there. I'm not gonna do that. Oh man, oh, that sucker's too sharp. Okay, so we're just gonna guide it. If you mess up here, guys, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna show you a cool trick how you can make these look really pretty. Nice, okay, that only took one cut. It's a little bit harder the second time around with the uh, adhesive, but not too bad. You can see here I'm cutting off a little bit of the design, don't worry about that. Just get my nice 
score. Fantastic. All right, that's looking pretty good so far. Um, so you probably see this white border around the side. So the original, the original Warhammer Quest tiles had this kind of gray. We can do better than that. So if you want to take a look at mine, they have this nice brown border. So we're gonna do the same thing for this. So we're gonna go back outside and mess around with this. So this guy is all put on here. What I like to do, this is a sanding block. I'll usually sand down the back and the front just to get a really smooth transition. It also stops the paper from falling apart. It's nice and smooth. I'm gonna do it to the top too. It's gonna look really pretty. So you'll probably see some of the white, like right there from the paper, where it's rubbing off ink. Don't worry about that. So you probably remember that I mentioned having a Sharpie on hand. So I actually have a brown artist's pen, but uh, any Sharpie will do, or a brown Sharpie if you have it. And we're just gonna cover these sides with this pen. Get rid of that white, make this whole thing really seamless. Might need to do two coats or so. All right, just like that. There's a Warhammer Quest style. And it's gonna fit in seamlessly with the rest of them.